Hey fur friends, welcome to our channel. Does anyone ever go to the groomer and say, I want a puppy cut? I hear that all the time. So today I'm gonna to show you my version of a puppy cut. So if you take your dog to the groomer and you want your dog to still look like a puppy, you'll find out how. Stay tuned for all the deets. So this is sweet Poppy. Look at her. Is she not adorable? Delicious. She's delicious. So Poppy is a sh miniature schnauzer, like we were saying, and Poppy's mom likes Poppy looking like a puppy. And she's she's still young, but she's not she's not like six months old or anything. So what I did was I gave her a full bath, I brushed her out, and normally with a schnauzer you would I would pre-cut the top because the back gets shaved and the legs are longer and then the head gets shaved. So once you, sh you take all the hair off and then I put them in the bath, it's much faster. So make sure that you don't take any hair off, you bathe them, brush them out, and, um, and then you can, you can start off on your, on your puppy cut. So what I'm doing now is just the basic stuff you do with any groom. I cut her nail and I'm trimming the pads of her feet. And, um, and then I'll move to the body. Here's what a schnauzer clip, the standard breed clip looks like. And now I'm gonna show you what to do to make your, your, your purebred schnauzer look like a puppy. Now, what we do is we, we're basically doing the dog the same length all over. To me, a puppy cut is same length all over. Like some people think a puppy cut, the body's shorter, the head's bigger, like everybody that brings their dog is in. I swear to God, I've had it thousands of times. Can you just do a puppy cut? So I basically say to them, okay, you need to tell me what your version of a puppy cut is because my version of a puppy cut and people's other people's versions of puppy cuts are not the same. So you have to get clarification if you're a groomer and if you're not a groomer and you're just doing it at home on your own, this will help you as well. So what I do is I get a, a length that I like and you want the groom to last. So I get a 30 blade and I use an attachment comb and so an attachment comb and she gets this dog groomed every eight weeks or so. So this attachment comb is half an inch. So usually what I do is I I run it down just to make sure. Yeah, so that's taking off a decent amount of hair, but she's still gonna look she's still gonna look um, long ish. So you just run the attachment comb along the dog with the grain of the coat. You run it right across her back. So normally on a schnauzer, I would take a seven or a 10 blade, depending on how, how short they want them. And a seven or a 10 blade is almost to the skin. Like a 10 blade is what I do the sanitary with. And a seven blade is a smidge longer. So with that, as you could see in that picture, you literally shave the ears as short as the top of the head. You leave the eyebrows and you shave all along the back, the tail, and then you, you, you find a line. Some, the older fashioned way is down like this. And then now it's a little bit higher. And then you leave the legs longer than the body. So I would have done that before the bath, but like I said, I didn't. So that with this, I'm just gonna basically run this exact same length all over her. So right down her legs. I've already turned the pads of her feet and cut her nails. And I run, when I'm using an attachment comb, I literally run over the same spot two or three times because when they're really fluffed up from the, from the um, dryer, you miss spots. And then I fluff her up again with, after I do the, the first run over, I fluff her up again with a brush. So this is a schnauzer, but basically, like I'm showing you on a breed specific um, dog that can have a, a breed specific cut, but even mixed breeds like a cockapoo or a sheepoo or a multipoo, you can do the, the exact same concept on any breed. So with those dogs, instead of, instead of, um, sh and I mean, you can't do this if the dog's matted. You have to keep that in mind as well, because and now a lot of people will come in and say, I want a puppy cut, but their dog is matted to the wood. 
So with a puppy cut like that, you do what you have to do and you shave the matted, the length you have to do. But literally the concept on a Schnauzer or any breed is the same. You just find a length you like and you do the same length everywhere. And then I'll show you more specifically on the face when I get to that. And what clipper are you using? What clipper? Yeah, you should say that. I'm using the Heinegger cordless clipper. We'll be doing a video on that shortly and it's, all I can tell you right now is it's, it's an awesome clipper. I friggin' love it. Okay, so now I'm moving to the head. And basically with the head, I'm using the same attachment comb and I'm running it over the ears. I've already trimmed in the ears and plucked the ears. So I'm running underneath her chin. Good girl, Pops. Popsy Popsy. Yeah, you're so cute. And like I said, I run the clipper attachment comb over the body like multiple times because it always picks up and then I refluff them and run it again. So you want them to look as even and uniform as possible. So then now I'm going to, where's my comb? She's standing on it. I haven't done her feet really yet, but so I just fluff up the head, make sure it's all brushed out. We can't see her eyes, but normally with the schnauzer, all of this would be shaved off, but because we want her to look like a puppy, we've got a, a video on, we'll, we'll link that above, on doing a face trim. So around the eyes. Good girl. And then on the nose, I always like to get the hair right off that. Some groomers will run a clipper. Some people like run a clipper right here. A lot of people don't love having their face that short. So with a puppy cut, you want a full face. A short face to me is not a puppy cut. So I would brush out the face and make it round. Good girl. And a schnauzer, a schnauzer, um, in a regular schnauzer clip, the beard actually comes down in a long point here, and then it's shorter under here. So in this case, because we want her to look like a puppy, the beard is full and shorter. Like I, I make, I personally love beards short because it makes them look younger. Like if you look at a puppy, they don't have a long beard. And some people with a puppy cut say, oh, I want the beard longer. Well, that's not a puppy cut to me. A puppy cut, when a puppy's growing up, this hair is growing out all the same length. So when you're trying to duplicate a puppy cut, that's what you want to do is make the, the hair all over the body as uniform as possible. And maybe, maybe keep a little bit more hair on, on the head, but you want everything fluffy and round. So with the ears, I just make sure they're clean underneath because you want circulation in there. But have full videos on nail clipping, um, pads of the feet, um, bath trim, bath. So we're going to link all those videos above and if you want to reference any of those that's awesome and hopefully they'll help you too. So generally summarizing what a puppy cut is, same length all over the body and same length on the head. Some people like the head a little bit longer and you want to emphasize on making the head round. Like longer beards, no that's not a puppy cut. Everyone's got personal cho preferences, but puppy cut, same length all over, round face, clear out the eyes, and when they come back again, you just do the same thing, and it's a, just an easy standard same length all over. So I hope this video helped with puppy cut definition, and please like, comment, and subscribe, because that really helps us out a lot, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.